guys, it's Jonna. This is not going to be a very happy video, but I'm hoping that it will help somebody out there. I do quickly want to say that in this video, I will be talking about getting sick. I promise I'm not going to go into detail because nobody needs to hear that. That is disgusting and it's just, it's not going to help anybody. The purpose of this video is not to talk about graphic things. That is definitely 100% not what this video is about. I'm making this video because I was talking to one of my viewers who also has emetophobia after this happened to me and she was saying that I could talk about it a little bit in order to maybe help someone out there. So just be careful but I promise I'm not going to be gross or give you too much detail because I'm just, I'm just not. <laughs> A lot of you know that I have emetophobia. Emetophobia is an extreme fear of all things related to throwing up. It can include fears about you getting sick or other people getting sick. It is so much more than just not liking being sick. Nobody likes being sick. But this is a phobia that heavily impacts your life and affects the way that you live. It is intense and it is hard and it's so, so, so much more than just a dislike. It has severely impacted my life for the past five years and I mean severely. It limits what I eat, it limits what I do, it causes me to wash my hands constantly, it causes me to police other people about washing their hands and staying clean. Pretty much every single day I am terrified that I'll get sick. So on April 1st, I I got sick for the first time in seven years. I guess there was something going around, unfortunately. It was definitely a 24 hour thing, though right after it I got hit with a really bad cold that my dad had had. So I was out of commission for a really long time. But yes, it happened on April 1st, so it was kind of like a cruel April Fool's joke. It happened somewhere near 11 p.m. and lasted through the night, through the morning, and it was not a good time. But I will say, surprisingly, I was very brave. I was very, very, very brave. The scariest part is definitely leading up to it. I was feeling really nauseous, and I do feel nauseous every single day. It's pretty much all due to anxiety and my brain creating this feeling that I'm sick because I worry about it so much, so constant. So when I told my parents that I was feeling nauseous, they didn't quite believe me because I do say it a lot, but this time it felt different, which I have said before, but this time I, something felt really different. After the fact, my dad told me that he did know it was going to happen, but he didn't want to tell me because he didn't want to upset me more. So anyway, I felt nauseous and I was really, really scared. I started to cry and I was like, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. And it was just, I was so anxious. But then it happened, I couldn't stop it from happening. It was just something that my body had to do. And after it happened, I didn't cry, I didn't panic. I w it just, like, I don't know, I'm so blown away, I was so brave. But the most surprising thing to me was that it only lasts for a few seconds and it doesn't feel good. Nobody likes feeling that out of control. It's just, it's not a good time, but you do feel better as soon as it's done. Though, even though it's not pleasant, it's your body's way of helping you. It's unfortunate that it happens, but in the end, it's a good thing. So like I said, it lasted through the night, but the next day, I was all right. I was very achy, extremely tired, and I couldn't eat. <laughs> but I was okay. And now that it's happened, I do feel that my emetophobia has changed, though I'm not exactly sure how it's changed. I still feel nervous about getting sick, but I know now that the actual getting sick isn't that scary, which sounds crazy to me to even be saying that. It only lasts a few seconds at a time and it does make you feel better. And I am here, I am okay, I survived it even though it was hard. All those days with emetophobia, I just built it up so much in my mind. And it's just crazy to me that the scariest part of the whole thing is the parts leading up to it and not the actual act. That's, that's insane to me because I, I don't even know, I just, I built it up so much. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> Getting sick is your body's last resort and it rarely goes there. This is only the third time that I can remember in my entire lifespan that I was sick and I am almost 21. I'm excluding like being a baby and spitting up, but this is only my third time out of 21 years and that's not too bad. Honestly, I just want to reassure any of you out there that struggle with emetophobia that you can make it through it if it happens. I spent every single day for five years being absolutely consumed with terror that this would happen to me. And now here I am on the other side of it and it's pretty crazy to think about because something's so big happened to me and I do feel different. I think now my biggest issue with the whole thing is the lack of control. I do not like the fact that it was so unpredictable. Before the whole thing it just absolutely terrified me but now it's just like 
the unpredictability of it and the control part of it that's bothering me. I'm not sure, I still haven't made sense of this whole experience. It's still just, I, I still feel confused about how I feel about emetophobia and like what my relationship with the phobia is and how it's going to affect me from here on out. I have made some good steps since it's happened. I do feel braver. I went out the other day and ran errands all day and didn't use a drop of sanitizer the entire time, which before that was unthinkable to me, but now it's, it's okay. It's like a little uncomfortable, but it's okay. So I think that now that this has happened, I can continue to work on my phobia and just try to at least make it diminish. Because honestly, at this point, now that it's happened, I am just so tired of being ruled by this phobia and like living my life according to the phobia's rules that I've made up in my mind. I'm just so tired of it. I'm so frustrated and I'm tired and I'm annoyed and I just wanna to work towards getting rid of it or at least making it more manageable. And I think that by it happening, that was a push that I needed to get to that point. Like to get to the point where I feel like I am so ready to be done with this. Because for a while there, I was like, this phobia feels like a part of me. I don't know how to live my life without being constantly scared of this. It was just something I had become so used to. I think this gave me a push and now I'm just, I'm so ready to work so hard on this and just, Play it. <laughs> Honestly, if there's anything I want you to take away from this video, I just want you guys to know that like it's gonna be okay. As a metaphobics, getting sick is like the scariest thing. But I promise you that it's just your body's way of taking care of you. And it rarely, rarely ever goes there. So if it does, it must be really important. It's not fun, it doesn't feel nice, <laughs> but you do feel better after. And just know that I am sending you love and I am sending you strength because I know how hard emetophobia is day to day. And I know how hard those moments leading up to it are now that I've experienced it so recently. But I believe in you and I know that you'll come out the other side and maybe you'll have the same push that I have to want to get rid of this. Maybe you'll surprise yourself like I did. I was so surprised at how brave I was. I, I honestly cannot believe it. So some good things can come out of it. I don't know, I just want you guys to know that it's going to be okay. I'm okay, look at me, I'm fine. I'm back to my normal self, ready for summer, ready for some sun, ready for some fun, and that rhymed, which is great. <laughs> I love you all, stay beautiful you people, you've got this, bye.